Okay, welcome to Bill Roper coming from uh, from Blizzard in the US. We've got very few questions we would like to, to postpone to you, uh, postpone to you as regards Warcraft 3 in particular. First question is, um, did you get inspiration from the, the novel Lord of the Rings for Warcraft 3? And if so, uh, what kind of inspirations did you get from it? Uh, really, all the inspirations for uh, all the games we create uh, are really very much from everything we've experienced. Uh, things like the Tolkien novels or uh, Nordic or uh, Greek and Roman mythology, uh, books we've read, music we've heard, um, even places we've gone and architecture we've seen and experienced. Uh, so I think that all of that really kind of combines to uh, lay a groundwork for the types of worlds that we build for the games. Thank you very much. Second question, always regarding Warcraft 3. Apart from the, the 3D graphics, um, what are the main differences between the previous, previous game of the franchise and this new one which will be launched? Probably the single biggest difference between Warcraft 3 and the other strategy games we've done uh, is the merging of role-playing elements within the game. Uh, there's still a strategy game at, at its core, but at the same time we're really taking uh, a lot of the sensibilities of role-playing games and putting them in, having things like uh, hero units that have inventories and gain experience and increase in level and then can learn different spells and skills, uh, the way that we have uh, the game interacting with the world, uh, much less of a focus on resource management management much more of uh, going out and exploring and uh, really gaining knowledge and experience with your units uh, by going out and actually interacting with the world. I think those are very, very major differences between uh, Warcraft 3 and, and the other games we've done. Okay, thank you. Uh, the first question is um, how many and what sort of races will be included in the Warcraft 3 edition? There's four races in Warcraft 3, uh, orcs, humans, night elves and undead. And they're all very, very different in the way they play, very similar to StarCraft in that uh, each race has its own specific strategies and tactics that you'll need to employ to be successful. Um, next question is, um, why, in your opinion, young people uh, should buy Warcraft 3? Uh, I think because the biggest reason is it's fun. Uh, very, very fun games. Uh, we always focus on, more than anything else, making the games enjoyable, easy to learn, and then very challenging to uh, get better and better at. And uh, we have fans from 9 to 90 that play the games. And uh, it's really exciting to watch people start learning how to play the game, and then as they play more and more, get better and better, and, and the whole time a big smile on their face and having a great time. So if there's one single reason to buy it, it's because it's incredibly fun. So it's a game for everybody, not only yeah. for, for young people. Um, okay, uh, next question is, uh, what, what do you think about clones of your products? Because in any case, uh, Warcraft 3 and other products of Blizzard are, are uh, very frequently imitated by other software houses. What do you think about them? Uh, well, there's an old saying that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So we're always very flattered if people uh, play our games and look at our games and the, that inspires them to have direction with their products. So uh, we, we, uh, we have a good time playing the good ones and, uh, and uh, we really just look at that as uh, being a very, very high compliment that other companies can pay to us. Thank you.